Hey guys, well today is Sunday and I am at the Salvation Army in Costa Mesa and we're gonna go inside and see if we can find anything good to buy and sell for a profit. I love coming on Sundays because I'm always hopeful that I'm getting the garage sale leftovers, maybe the good stuff that was priced too high that didn't sell. So let's see if we can find anything. Here we go. Well, this is interesting. So it's some kind of like a chafing dish. There's a plug. This is Pyrex. See if I can find anything on this. $14.99. Okay, well it turns out that this is a vanillium, I'm probably saying that wrong, triple food warmer. And there's one of these listed on eBay for $140. There aren't any sold though, so I'm gonna pick it up as a maybe. Um, we'll see what else I find, but definitely interesting right off the bat. Cute little wooden duck. Unfortunately, his bottom is broken. The elephant with his tusk broken. Oh my gosh, those guys are cute back there. Nativity scene. Let's see any markings on this. Don't see any markings on that. Santa's cute. A Nesco Santa. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Six dollars for him. Whoa. Sorry, Santa. And there's a bigger one up here. Let's see. He's got a tag. He is Holiday Creations. like that guy, I might consider him, but I think I'm going to leave him there for now. If, if it is meant to be mine, maybe he'll still be there when I'm done. Alright, here we go. Let's look at the home goods. This little bowl is cute. Hey man, the cocktail nuts are history. Looks like it is artist signed. Oh, this is pretty. L-E-T, and I can't tell how much this is. Um, but I'll grab those two. And these are really pretty. I can't tell if that's probably Mexico. Um, definitely like those. So I'll put all of that in the cart. Switching sides. Vase made in Indonesia. Two dollars. It's a cutie. Oh my gosh, that's a funny butter dish. It's an astrological sign butter dish. Huh. Fun glass 05 Shirley. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Might have to look that up. Made in the USA, it has a P on it. P. I must know. Prun. Shoot. I'm gonna have to completely take that sticker off, which I'm sure they would not appreciate. So, I will just put that back. Little garlic dish. It's cute. Four dollars on that. A little egg holder. Okay, but I'm curious about this guy. I might try to look that up. A little cast iron ramekin. What else do we see? What is this? Pampered chef. All right, let me see if I can find anything on this. Okay, well, I couldn't find anything on this. It is cute, but it's also very silly. So, 
And now leave that behind. Um, ooh, this is pretty. I love the colors on this. It looks old. Two dollars. And some Chinese symbols on it. It's really pretty. I think for two dollars I will add that to my purse. Welcome, baby. Well, you know what though? I'm just feeling that there's actually there's some damage on it. Shoot. That is too bad. I might just get that for myself. Um, because I really I love the colors on it. It's a good little storage container. Sugar dishes. It looks very old, but it does have a chip on it. This is a cute little dish. I'm just gonna look at this down here. Very cute. Um, no markings on that. It almost looks like something that you would get in like Africa. Um, that's really cute. Well, I decided to pass on that giraffe bowl because I couldn't find anything on it, but I did find this really cute paper mache cat. It says it's made in Thailand. It's $8. I just think that that's so cute. I think I'm gonna grab that. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, those are pretty. Um, let's see. This is just some studio pottery. I love the color in that. Okay, it's definitely a navy. And these are really cool. Four dollars each. I think that those will be navies as well. Let's put those in. I did not think that today was going to be a good thrifting day. I don't know why. I wasn't very confident, and then of course I find a lot of good stuff. And this is a really pretty plate too. Look at that. And it does not appear to be damaged. Prince of Peace, $10. Hmm. That's really pretty, especially for the holidays. So I might look that up and see what I can find on that. And I noticed these. These are really pretty and they've got crazing. So I wonder if they're old. Um, it's got a sticker that they were made in China. I really like those. I'm gonna grab those. on him. Looks like a reproduction. Okay, let's just make sure. Silver plate. Okay. Cute little owl. World market. It's pretty down there. Pretty peonies. Alright, we will continue on. Let's go. Let's go these canisters over here. Grapes. Brenda Copal, 1990. I feel like I've looked this maker up before. I just don't love, I don't love them, so I'm going to pass. Um, do we see anything in the pots and pans? What is this little thing? Oh, it sounded very lightweight. <laughs> Put the lion on it. Okay, obviously this part is broken. It used to be attached there. So, since it is no longer attached, I'm going to leave it. A mark on the bottom. Um, someone obviously already looked at it. Something from Italy. 
Alfred, I think is what it says. No. Hmm, okay, I might look that up and see what we can find. Oh my gosh, this is a lot heavier than I expected it to be. Looks like brass. Um, $16, wow. I don't know about this. I mean, it could be something really good. Um, or it could be kind of overpriced. It looks like it maybe used to have another sticker on it. Alright, I will have to look that up and see if I can find anything. My cart's getting full. Just checking to see if this has a mark on it. I don't see anything. It does appear to be very old, but I don't see a mark on that. So I'll leave that there. Oh, look at this. It's like a roasting, a really, really long roasting pan. Who makes that? Let's see who makes it. Oh, it's $10. Stainless steel made in Taiwan. Hmm. about that. I might have to look that up and see if I can find anything on it. It's very long. It's probably like 20 inches long at least. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to check this out. Okay. So this is a fish poacher. So for cooking fish. And because this one is not a brand name, they're only worth about 20 to 30. So I'm not going to pick this up, but some of these that are brand name sell for a lot of money. So it's a good thing to be on the lookout for, but I'm going to leave this one behind. Okay, well in the plastic section, I found this Lennox pattern, or platter, not pattern. The pattern is um, Fresh Meadow, and I looked this up and there's one listed, the same platter, for $50. There's not that many sales, but so this is 10 um, I feel like I could certainly make my money on that at some point, so... I'm going to add that to my ever-growing cart, and we will continue on. This little jar is cute. Under oh, it's a it's a salt shaker. It's not a jar. And it's just by itself. Ravioli maker. Ravolissima. Hmm. Silver company. Silver plated basket. Silver plated scallop basket. Um, a nice purple chef container. Veg slicer. Um, oh, these are cute. Four dollars for those monkey pods. This muffin pan down here. I feel like there's so much good home stuff today. Um, okay, I think I'm going to start by looking up this pasta maker. And look at this. William is in a froth and pour hot chocolate pot. Well, that's interesting. How much is this? Eight dollars. Hmm. All right. I'll be back. Okay, well, none of these items turned out to be winners. There's a lot of these for sale, all for about 20 um, this sells for like six and they have it for four. And this is just part of this setup. This only sells for about six. So I'm going to pass on all of that. But I did want to look at this. Okay, I don't see any markings on that. Hmm. I don't know much about cast iron. So I think I'm going to leave that behind. There's another one in there. So, I'm just gonna continue on my way and see what else I can find. Is this glass or plastic? This is glass. Oh. Handcrafted in China. Hmm. Well, it is pretty, but since it's made in China, I think I'll pass. This is cute, but there's just one. Let's continue on. Okay, well here is a Lari Gates Formicasa pedestal bowl. 
and I can't find this exact one on eBay, but her stuff does seem to sell pretty well, and this is only $6, so that's definitely coming in my cart. Um, my gosh, here are some Lennox silver <laughs> pillar candle holders, and they are $1.99, $3.99, and $7.99. Wow. Okay. Let's see how these do. <laughs> okay, well, I did find the same set listed for $100. I didn't find these exact ones sold, but I'm going to be spending two, um, six, eight, so I'm going to be spending $14. Um, so yeah, I think it's worth it. So these are getting added to my really full card. I was not expecting this today. Not expecting this at all. I have to do a cart review here and um, filter out some items. So that's exciting. And these lamps are really beautiful too. Look at that lamp. It's gorgeous. Well, I really love this lamp. Look at the finial. This like recycled glass center part and then it's brass and then it goes down to recycled glass and there's another one I just can't find anything on it I don't know who the maker is so let's go look at the other one and see what we can find if I can make it around this corner alright here we go to the other side let's see there's the other one right over there I'm trying to navigate this very full cart around this corner Okay, here's the other one. What is this? It's just plastic. Okay. Um, okay, so here's the other one. And is there any identifying marks on this? really cool. I don't think that that's the right shade for this. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I mean, I like it a lot, but with everything else in my cart, I have to make some decisions. So, I'm not sure. I'm going to think about that. Well, this is disturbing. I went to lift up the lid on this box, and it is full of pretend severed fingers. So that's fun. Happy Halloween, everybody. Um, let's see. Made in Mexico. Definitely is a pretty box. I'm going to pass on it. It's very, very heavy. All of those. Okay, well, here's another interesting find. So this apparently is a drone backpack. Um, it does have one little issue right there. This is $13, um, and these have sold for like $45 to $55 on eBay, so yeah, another good find. So that's going to be coming home with me too. Okay, well it's time to do a cart review, and I think I'm going to eliminate anything that won't make at least $20, so let's see where I'm at when I'm all done. At the last minute, I found these art packs that are by Nancy Thomas. I am, yes. Um, and they are doing quite well on eBay, so I'm going to pick those up too. Okay, guys, so my total spend was, I think, about $61. Um, I did end up putting back that Lennox platter, and I put back one of the, the tallest Lennox silver candle pillar holders. Um, I just didn't want to deal with anything of that size. That one was really big, so I did get two of them but not all three, which I'm sure some of you are, are yelling at me for that. Um, but I felt like that was the right thing to do for me. But then at the end, like I said, I found these Nancy Thomas art pieces and it is a series. Um, there is summer, autumn, winter, and spring, and they were $6 each. And two of them are signed. Um, and these are selling for like $50 each. And I just got four of them. So that will definitely more than enough pay for this shopping trip, along with all of the other amazing things that I found. So that was a really good Salvation Army session. Um, yeah, I was not expecting that.
So that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for shopping along with me. Um, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe and comment on my videos, on my channel. Um, if you see anything that you really like that you'd like to purchase, you can check out my eBay store, which is linked in the comments below. And then also you can follow me on Instagram at Honeymoon Goods. And then lastly, if you would like to direct email me about anything, my email is honeymoongoods.shop at gmail.com. Thank you all so much for shopping along with me and I will see you on our next adventure. Have a great day.